Inscription. Let's check this game out, shall we? Oh, that is... Disconcerting. Another challenger. It has been ages. Perhaps you have forgotten how this game is played. Allow me to remind you. Play the squirrel card. What if I don't play the squirrel card? You are lacking sacrifices for that creature. Guess we have to play the squirrel card then. Now play your stoat. W and S. Ah. Uh, back and forth, gotcha. Play your stoat. Stoat costs one blood. Sacrifices must be made. Sacrifice the squirrel. An honorable death. Play the stoat. Okay, we'll play the stoat there. And back. Wolves require two sacrifices. You don't have enough. Ring the bell to end your turn and commence combat. Why is the bell pulsating? That's disconcerting. Your stoat stands unopposed. The number on the bottom left is its attack power. One. Okay, we did... Ah, your stoat dealt me one damage. I added it to the scale. Interesting. You win if you tip my side all the way down. How many does it take to w tip it all the way down? Whoa. Like this. Look at the hand. My turn. Ooh, a coyote. Your stoat stands in the way of my coyote. My coyote dealt two damage to your stoat. That means your stoat's health is too less. If a creature's health reaches zero, it dies. It's your turn again. You may draw from your deck, or you may draw a squirrel. Ooh. So is this squirrels? This is the deck? Which do I want? Uh, let's get a squirrel. How dull. Ah, oh, I should've gone for the deck, huh? Fine. Play the squirrel. There we go back. And then we will play the wolf. Here. Sacrifice both of them. Yes, these two. Hey, huh? Hey, stop. It just- it talked. It talked. It said, huh? Hey, stop. Fear not. The beast is sacrificed. But not removed from your deck. Interesting. Okay. And take this thing out as well. And then we play the wolf right here. And then, uh... We, uh, ring to end turn and the wolf will attack on its own. There we go. Get that coyote out of here. Because you are learning, I will pass. Kind of you. Again, the choice. A random card for your deck or the certainty of a squirrel? Let's go with a random card, huh? A river snapper. Ooh. Okay. Well, I don't think I can play either. Can I, like, look at it? The stats? No. To play that river snapper, you'll need to sacrifice two different creatures. Guess we gotta end turn again. Three damage to your face. Three damage dealt. Three weights and scale. So let's take like four or five damage to kill him. Alright. Pass. Alright, let's get this squirrel out here. Play this squirrel here. And then we will, uh, uh... Play the river snapper. Ooh, it's a 1-6. It's actually less damage, but hey, we won't check it out. Take out the wolf. Alright, take him. Alright, and then put down the river snapper. And then we, uh, end turn. One damage to your face. It's a five. So it takes five to win. Uh, or like a net gain of five. You've won this match. They won't all be so easy. Interesting. Ooh, somebody's bumping their music outside. Hopefully the mic doesn't pick it up. It usually does not. Let me recall your story. Oh, yes. You were lost deep in the forest. Neat. A single path revealed itself. Ooh, the music. We'll go this way then. Two denizens of the forest approach you tentatively. The undying cat. Sacrificing a poor beast does not kill it. Interesting. The caustic adder. Damage from its poison bite is always lethal. It's a 1-1 one, one with two health. Interesting. Only one may grace your paltry deck. Ooh, which, which one? Hmm. Unlimited lives and deaths? Or poison? Let's go for poison. Another creature joins your caravan. Interesting. Some of the creatures of the forest seemed willing to follow you. Go here next. You came across an abandoned sack. You found a squirrel in a bottle. Break in case of emergency. Interesting. And have a second. Ooh, two. Another useful implement. I'll allow you to tip the scales with it. Oh, it's like cheating. 
three as much three is as much as you can carry. Ooh, battle time. You were ambushed while crossing some rough terrain. You sacrificed me while I was sleeping. It was the right play. I get it. Maybe. You'll help me? Take your turn. Oh my god. Play long for now. What? You may now see my moves ahead of time. Interesting. Let's go check his moves. So, oh, he, so he's going to play the wolf cub there. It's a, like a 1-1. One, one. I don't know what that middle icon is. Right click. Behold, the rule book. Fledgling. A card bearing this sigil will grow into a more powerful form after one turn on the board. Ooh, that seems dangerous. Oh, there's a lot of stuff here. Touch of Death, Fledgling, Dam Builder, uh, Hoarder, Burrower, Fecundity, Loose, top, loose Tail, Corpse Eater, Bone King, Waterborn, Unkillable, Sharp Quills, Hefty, Ant Spawner. Need I remind you, your items may help. Guardian, there's so many. Airborne. The reason I'm going through them all is because I know somebody's going to want to like slow the video down and read every single one. Many lives. You're welcome, that person. Repulsive. Worthy Sacrifice. Mighty Leap. There's so many. B bifurcated Strike. There's so many. There's like 30 different things. Trifurcated Strike. Frozen Away. Trinket Bearer. Steel Trap. How many are there? Amorphous. Tidal Lock. Moon Strike. Leader. Bellist. Stinky. Ants. Oh my. What is this? Mirror something? Bell oh, it's like covered. Oh, there's so many! Oh my god! Oh my god! How many stat- Okay, we're back to- There's so many! Oh my goodness! That's insanity! That's actual insanity how many different stats effects and stuff there is in this game. This is like a- A proper, full- This is like a full, proper card game, not no little, uh, Oh, we have four stats effects. No, man, there's a lot. Should've got the cat. Can't put anything down except for the squirrel. Alright, put down the squirrel here. Uh, from the stump, I guess. And, um, can I like, draw another card? No, I can't draw it first. Uh, I guess we can put a stoat down. Uh, sacrifice the squirrel. Put the stoat. Oh. Should we take out the stumps? Now, let's just. Here we go. Okay. I'm curious about this. The cards talk to you. There's like a story built into the cards. Interesting. So, end turn. Deal damage. Wolf cub and a bat. Attacking right away. Mind the ambitious wolf cub. It ages swiftly. Interesting. Uh, let's have an interesting card, huh? May have been a poor choice, actually. I need more squirrels, to be fair. Um, can't draw now. Should we draw a squirrel? Well, can I sacrifice the boulder? Um, put down the wolf. Boulder can't be sacrificed. Okay, that's what I wanted to know. Guess we end turn. A little damage to you. Oh, it's a 3 2 wolf, huh? The airborne bat flies over creatures to attack directly. Interesting. You do attack your first turn. Ha! My bat flew right over your stoat. Ooh, they even scripted it for if the you put the stoat there. Neat. Bet they have different texts. Different chat for what you do. Different text. Different story. Different lines of text for where you place things differently. Alright, get the squirrel. We need we need fodder for the war gods. Do we kill the stoat? I'm, I want to see if the stoat can kill the bat, so we're not going to play any other cards. It can, fantastic. You know you can play more than one card per turn, right? I mean, I gotta have the card. I gotta be able to afford them, you know? Um, let's get another squirrel. Put the squirrel down there. Come back down here. We're, what do we want? The adder can... I mean... Let's put the adder down. The adder demands two sacrifices. Put it down here. It's got poison, so it should kill it in one shot, right? Let's find out. Um, I don't want to sacrifice those two. Yep. A serpent perhaps more deadly than man. There we go. The stoat's slowly doing work. Uh, let's get another squirrel. Need to be able to afford these guys. The squirrel goes down. Did he not take a turn? He's not taking turns, so I guess it's still an easy mode since it's only the second battle. Hmm. Wolf does more damage. Get these guys out of here. That'll do. There we go. It's four to the there we go. You prevailed, and trekked onwards past the now bloodied terrain. Okay. More cards. I need more, like, one-cost cards. I got too many that cost two blood. The young wolf cub. It grows into a wolf after a single turn. It only costs one blood sacrifice. That's not bad. The meek spare. An inexpensive, if feeble, flying creature. So you got, uh... 
They both cost one blood. This it this flies. Uh, so basically, a three two or a flying one two. I'm gonna see. They can still attack the flying one, so I'm gonna go with the wolf cub. Unless, oh, unless you put him in front of a stump, actually. Yeah, that would've been smart. Never mind. Should've gone for the flying one, put him in front of the stump, it'll fly over the stump and damage him and not get attacked back. You stumbled into some strange stones in the mist. Interesting. You are compelled to choose a worthy sacrifice. One that will be lost forever. Oh no. Oh no. Oh man. Oh man. Ooh, the adder is a one-shot kill for tough boys in the future. Uh, the wolf... I just got the wolf cub, man. Put down the adder, okay. No? Put it down. Oh! It says pick me. Should I pick him because it says pick me? I already have a stoat. No. So I'm converting card into another card, okay. I already have wolves. Alright, pick me. Alright, fine, I'll pick you. Or am I upgrading a card? Am I upgrading a card? What an honor. Ah, I am upgrading cards, gotcha. A ghastly spectacle, but the soul of the adder now lives in the stoat. Gotcha. Neat. Okay. It's all about the stoat. Is this like an elite battle? Guess we'll find out. Well, hello. What the? Behold my totem. It inscribes my canine cards with the airborne sigil. Well, that's terrifying. Do I get totems? He is completely insane. You see that, right? No care for the rules. Pathetic, really. Enough. Only keeps me around to watch me suffer. Okay. What's he doing? Oh, airborne. Airborne. So, 2-1-2-1. Two, one, two, one. Okay. So, um... Put down the squirrel. And then we will sacrifice the squirrel. Uh... If I... If I put you down here, um, you'll fly past me and deal me two damage. And then on his next turn, he'll, like, kill that. So I'll be fine. Back on the board. Okay. I guess we entered. Have you forgotten the items I gave you? Tisk tisk. Do I need to use these? I'm saving them for, like, an emergency. Maybe I shouldn't save them. I'm probably gonna get more, right? Um, yeah. Let's, let's, let's use them. Squirrel. Squirrel. We'll probably get more items, I'm sure. And then we will, uh... uh let's, let's get out, let's get the, uh... Oh, it's got one hit points. The river snapper can take it out one hit points. And they have lots of health left to stay alive if something big comes out at it. There we go. They'll still fly past us to deal four damage, but then I'll kill them both the next turn. And then we'll enter. And I did two damage to him. They're gonna fly past me. My totem has granted my coyote the power of flight. Interesting, interesting. We knew this. Oof. Alright, uh... Oh, man, do we want a squirrel? Probably want a squirrel, right? Alright. Um, put down the squirrel. Do I want to sacrifice the stoat for the wolf? Probably not, actually. We'll wait a turn. There we go, take those things out. They got a wolf club coming in. It's my turn. Um, it's a 1-1 one, one flying. Well, let's, uh, get another squirrel. Squirrel down. And then we'll sacrifice these. Play the wolf here. And then we will, uh... We'll end turn. Balance the scales a little bit. There we go. You're two damage away from winning. It's kind of hard to keep track sometimes. Oh, no. Make it three now. Um... I guess a, I guess a squirrel. And let's destroy a card. Another wolf cub. Uh, I could actually sacrifice these guys. Wow, seriously, he said? Sacrifice... Only, ta only took one. Put you down. It'll be more damage overall. And end turn. Sorry, stout. Had to be done. There goes a coyote. Aha! Another wolf. Uh... I just want to see what we draw. Another wolf, okay. I think we've seen all the cards in the deck. That should get him, right? Overkill, huh? What was that... What was that bowl? What's that bowl all about? Impressive. You may, you may yet survive this ordeal. Knock on wood. Interesting. More cards. This game's really cool. I like it. Adder. The stalwart snapper. A near impenetrable defense. I see. 
Was that the conniving raven? A blight upon the skies. Ooh, it's a two, three flying. It's not bad. What is this? What is this? What is this? What is this? I can't, like, move it. I don't understand what that is. Um, a two, three flying. Uh, yeah, let's get the two, three flying. Seems good. Um, this would let us, like, heal, I guess? I'm, I don't know what either. So there's another campfire up there we can check. I don't see another eye kind of this. Oh, oh, we can, oh, we can like, scroll and check our deck. Interesting. Um, let's see what this eye kind of is, because I can check the campfire up there, but I can't check this anywhere else it seems. So, or you. Oh, I, it's this. I should have looked at the previous spots I'd been. Fine. Um, well, we can, uh, so... Oh, I'm curious. What if we... Inf inf so we can make something flying. We could make a flying... Any we could make something fly. Or we could make something... Turn into... Fledgling. More powerful. I'm curious what happens if we get something else fledgling. Do they turn into a wolf? Or do they, or we get like a higher powered version of them? Oh, I can't give to the stoat. What if we give... The raven? Can you have more than one? Let's see what happens. Or does it, like, replace it? Aha, it does. Kind of covers the raven's face, though. See, so you can get, like, a stronger raven, perhaps? Go here and fight. Ooh, start with cards on the board. There's a way out for both of us. It's somewhere in this foul cabin. Be silent or I'll tear you to shreds. Interesting. Okay. Grand fur. Uh, right click. Mighty Leap. The music just cut out randomly. Ox oh, is changing songs. Uh, a card bearing this sigil will block an opposing creature bearing the airborne sigil. Aha! So Grand Furs can block flying ones. Probably ground ones too, right? Uh, what you got up there? You got flying, so my Grand Fur will stop you for three turns. A 4-6 Grizzly is just terrifying. I don't know what I could possibly do about that. Also, I only have two spots to place on my board because I got stuff in my way. That 4-6 is going to be a legitimate problem. I can... Oof. I have to, like, throw some... I could just sacrifice squirrels to it, really. Stops, like, a squirrel per turn stops four damage per turn. I don't need it right away yet, though. This is where the... Oh, the adder. Okay, we, we need to hold on to the stoat. And then, after he's taken his attack, I'll place the stoat. And the stoat will, uh, kill him instantly with the poison. He costs two, two, two. If I put the stoat down first, though, it'll get killed before he gets a chance to kill the grizzly. So we have to, like... Wait. Without taking an action. Another, another grizzly? You gotta be kidding me, dude. OP. I need more poison units in my deck, huh? Um... Okay, we'll use a... A squirrel here. Squirrel will go here. Got to sacrifice squirrels, I guess. Squirrel goes here. Stoat sacrifices the squirrel. We place it down there. This spot? You sure? Yeah, I need you to kill the grizzly. 100%. You got poison. Um... Probably not. It's, it's you know it's probably not kind of like undo. It's probably not scripted for him to have uh, poison in the in the text. Um, wait, can I say I can't sacrifice the grand fur? Can I? No, you can't draw blood from a grand fur. You'll need something else. Gotcha. All right, we'll end turn. Get that grizzly out of here. I don't know what the heck we're gonna do with that other grizzly. We're not prepared for that. Oof. Well, we have no choice but to put a, a squirrel there to soak the damage. Um. Once this thing kills this, that'll open another spot. How did he do two damage to it? It's only got one. Alright, um... Guess we have to end turn. That's one damage to him. I need these sparrows to hurry up and take out... There we go. Give me some... room to place things. I'm not sure how we could possibly beat this. We needed a... We needed two guys with poison, really. Or... T we needed to hang out to those items, actually. Should have saved those items. Um... Oh... I could, I could, I don't know what to do here. I could sacrifice the stoat and that to put the river snapper, but the river snapper will die in two turns. And we got damage coming in here to these guys. I don't, I don't, I don't know. I can't afford to like, but in order to put more cars down, I need to use those squirrels, which means I can't sacrifice a squirrel every turn. But then these flying guys get through and we just lose. You've lost. Okay. Using this as a learning opportunity may be the only way to mitigate my disappointment. Get up. Get up from the table. 
Fetch me the candlestick from atop the barrel beside the door. Interesting. Candlestick atop the barrel beside the door. Wait, what barrel? Can I move? Top the... Oh my god, I can move. Oh, wow. I thought I had to, like, just restart the game. Candlestick atop the barrel beside the door. What is this? This is... Wow, there's more to this game than I thought, huh? There's a knife. Oh my. Oh, this is more than just a card game. Oh my goodness, what a... What a well-done game. Oh, that is just... You are so creepy, my dude. Candlestick atop the barrel. It's just like stuff you can interact with. This is interesting. Okay, that is... You are an eerie soul, my dude. Candlestick atop the barrel. Hello? So it's more than just a card game, huh? There's like a puzzle aspect to certain things you can interact with. A candlestick atop the barrel. The candlestick from atop the barrel. Oh, he is not happy. You can see his forehead a little bit there. Aha! A candlestick atop the barrel. Gotcha. Right here. There we go. Bring it here. Okay. Uh-oh. He's like... Oh, he's like... Look at that hand. This game is so well done. Now sit back down. It's like a perfect blend of all these different genres. Okay, we're sitting back down. Let me explain something to you. Oh. That was one of the two mistakes you can make here. If you make another, I must sacrifice you. Oh, wow. Now, where were we? Oh, so, like, you can lose one battle for free. Um... I haven't checked the campfire, so we'll go this way. Very rare to see a roguelike that lets you lose a battle and keep going. It's kind of neat. The Ornery Porcupine. Sharp quills await those who dare attack it. Alright, so, uh, one, two, and it's got, like, a... They take one damage for attacking it. That's kind of neat. Takes one blood to sacrifice. One squirrel. Another river snapper. I still would love to know what that is about. I would love to know what that's about. Um, maybe that thing's like pinned in position there. The flighty elk. It moves after attacking. <sighs> Interesting. Two, four, and it moves. Curious and curiouser. Um, sprinter. Then at the end of the owner's turn, a card bearing the sigil will move the direction described in the sigil. That's kind of neat. But, uh, I need more, like, one-cost cards in that porcupine. I got too many two-cost cards. Go to here. Like, do we rest? But there's no hit points to rest. Unless we relight the candle. You came across a small group of survivors. Interesting. This game is so cool. Faces shrunken from starvation, they huddled around a campfire. They looked upon your group of creatures and beckoned. Come, warm one of your creatures by the fire, one said. Oh, they're gonna eat them. Warm it by the fire, that will enhance its power, said another. They're lying. They're gonna eat it. You notice one of the survivors wiping drool from their mouth. Plus one attack. I'm gonna do it just to see what happens, but I'm pretty sure the creature's just gonna die, right? Hmm. Yeah, I'm not gonna use the stove, because it's... I'm pretty sure plus one mouth, it's gonna get eaten. Uh, we have two wolves, so if we lose one, it's not the end of the world. Let's put the wolf up there. They're probably going to eat it, right? Nope, increase its attack. The fire warmed the poor wolf, enhancing its power. Really? They didn't actually eat it? One of the survivors reached toward it. Another gnash- Oh, they're going to, like, lower its hit points by one. Another gnash their teeth. Without a word, you pulled the wolf away from the fire and left. No, really? Oh, we just- Just- Okay, we just improved its attack power. Okay. We just, we just dipped out of there. Works for me. Boss battle? Or an elite. Oh. Oh, wow. This is so good. The trees seemed to close in around you as a chill mist descended. In the distance, you could hear the clinking of metal on stone. A hobbled figure stood in your path. Oh, wow, look at that. Hee-haw, t'was the prospector. This game is incredibly well done. I can't, I can't get over it. Interesting. He's like role-playing different characters. Who we got here? A uh, coyote 2-1 and a 0-5 pack mule. The pack mule is going to end up over here, huh? Not super worried about it. So the, uh, eventually the pack mule is just going to like... Okay. So... Uh, they're all two gods. Oh, we can put the squirrel here. And then we can sacrifice... Uh, put the porcupine here, actually. I think it'll be okay. And the one damage will go through. And we end turn. 
There we go. Ooh, it's got like a thing underneath it. Coyote did two damage to us. Uh, let's get a squirrel. We need more squirrels. I forgot to have... Oh, I could have used this when we were in trouble back there, huh? What's this little thing it's on? Wait, I thought the I thought it was pointing that direction. It's going this way? I'm confused. What's it, why is it on a little elevated thing? Because it's moving? Um... Down a squirrel. I could put down... The river... Uh, wait, what's this? Ooh, the, the adder. Okay, let's put down... The wolf. Sacrifice these guys. Put down the wolf. He'll take that down and then start doing big damage over time. Adder's gonna take out my boulder in one shot, right? Should be easy to kill. Okay. Uh, another squirrel. Well... Hmm... I need the... Should I kill... Should I bother, like, trying to kill the adder? Maybe we wait for, like, the stoat or somebody to take him out. The end turn. Okay. One damage to the scales. Another squirrel. Place the squirrel. What's coming in? A wolf. That coyote, I think, is going to come in and kill my wolf. It's unfortunate. But it'll still stop, stop the damage from hitting me. Um... Hmm. I think it might be better to sacrifice the wolf, because these guys on, on his... Actually, I, I'll still do three damage to the wolf, never mind. Sacrifice these two. Put the river snapper here to kill the adder, I guess. Maybe I should put the river snapper there to block damage, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if that was the play. There it goes. Ooh, that's not super great for us. Poor choice that may have been made. Now we're in the su Can I, like, use this thing? Oh my... Oh. My. A well-earned point of damage. I didn't think you'd really do it. Oh my god, I pulled out a tooth. They're still gonna kill me anyways. Uh, block three damage. I don't- I'm just- We're just delaying the inevitable here. This game's not easy, huh? Should've chosen better cards. Pull that- Oh, it goes back and forth, back and forth. I thought it would get to one side and stop. It just keeps moving back and forth. I put the river snap in the wrong spot, to be fair. We can just delay the inevitable here, but yeah, we're kinda toast. I may have made poor choices along the way. Alright, one more squirrel. Just delaying the inevitable here. Got the pack mule at least. Ooh, wait. Oh, I drew cards for killing the pack mule. Dagnabbit, my mule. If I had known you got cards for killing the mule, I would have made a point to try and kill it sooner. Nice tooth. Dagnabbit, my mule. We still lose. But now we know that for the future that you, I could have gotten some free cards by taking out the mule faster. Oh no. More gold for me. Oh, the hands. Oh, the hands. Oh, we're definitely playing this again if it's, that's the end of the run. But it might, the game might just keep going, who knows. I'm super into this. You aren't dead yet. This isn't purgatory. We're, it's still going? Nice. The game's very forgiving, which makes sense. It seems pretty hard. Though you may think of it that way. Before you expire, I must ask you a favor. I would like a memento. I already gave you a tooth. Your very own death card. Interesting. So for future runs, you can have, like, new cards? It's quite plain at the moment, isn't it? We will work together to amend that. I want this to be the perfect memento of you. Here are some cards from your mediocre deck. We can put them to good use. I never got to use the raven, did I? I never chose to. Please choose a card to draw the cost from. So the cost is... Like, how much it costs to play it? So it'll cost two blood. It costs of two blood from the River Snapper. Okay. And another. This time I'll use its power and health, the numbers. Um, probably the four, two. Four power and two health from the wolf. Now choose a card from which we will extract the sigils. And it has, like, one counterattack. A sigil of sharp quills from the porcupine. It's not a bad card. I'd I wish I could have gotten, like, a one-cost card. Never did ask you your name. CG plays. There's now but one final matter. The portrait. Oh, he's taking a picture of us. Are you ready? You do not need to smile. So all the cards are creatures that he's killed. The stoat is the only one left talking, though, for some reason. 
Now we'll be on a car talking to the next one. Here we go again. Another challenger. Nice. Perhaps it is time. Perhaps you can understand bones. Oh, and more mechanics? Nice. Interesting. The resourceful opossum costs two bones. Interesting! So it's all part of like the- Oh my- there's, It's like we're meant to die. It costs two bones. You gain a bone when one of your creature perishes for any reason. Oh. Okay. So we were supposed to die to keep learning more game mechanics. What we got here? We got uh, a 3-1 Rattler. So... Hmm. We can uh, put the squirrel down. And we can uh, sacrifice the squirrel. And put the stoat... I don't, I don't want the stoat to die for no reason, huh? Put the stoat here. From the death of your creature, you've gained a bone. Oh, so when I kill squirrels, I gain bones. I thought it was just the enemies killed mine. Nice. Uh, oh, so that's the icon of the bone. You'll not lose this until it is spent or the battle ends. So you can't carry me between battles. Okay. There we enter. Get him stoked. Very cool. Blood and bones. Alright, so another squirrel, I think, would be the call. Squirrel goes here. Oh. Uh, I need to... S can I play the opossum? No, I have to... I was hoping I could, like, sacrifice that get the bone play. No. Alright, we'll have to play the wolf. Bye-bye, Stoat. The Stoat's not talking anymore. While I was asleep, again? Okay, still talking. There's some bones. Wolf takes out the rattler. And then we use those bones to play the opossum. Which is a 1-1. One, one. So, it's just like a freebie, really. I sort of took a card spot in my hand. Rattler's coming in. Um... Squirrel. So we're gonna need... We need squirrels. Alright, and we end turn. Four more. Rather gonna take out my wolf. Got a bone for it there. Um, draw a card. A uh, bullfrog. Ooh, we got new cards in our hand. Bullfrog. Only costs one. It's a one, two with like f shield flying, whatever that is. We'll put you here. And right click you. Mighty Leap. A card bearing the sigil will block an opposing creature bearing the airborne sigil. Gotcha. So he. Oh, get it. Shield blocks. F wings flying. Blocks flying. It's a good. Uh, it's a good. Uh, good sigil thing there. Explaining what it does. Obviously, get a squirrel, and and uh, play the squirrel, and turn, and that's it. What's that bowl? How brutal of you! You dealt me more damage than you needed to win. It's not the first time. However, in my game, such feats are rewarded. Interesting. To be precise, a tooth to keep for each extra damage dealt. The trapper may be interested in your spoils. So I should make a point to try and do as much overkill as possible. Okay. Alright, so, uh... Oh. Yeah, where are we? I forgot your figurine. Get up and fetch it for me. I love this whole get up and... It's beside the safe. I love that you can, like, get up and interact with the world around you. This is... Wow. Who, like... How did devs come up with such cool game ideas? Oh. Zero one squirrel. Three two wolf. What's this? What are, these, what are these cards here for? Interesting. It's beside the safe. I'll take it. Guess that's me, huh? I can put it up and... I can pick it up and put it down. I'm trapped in here. Weird lights coming from outside. What is this place? You could probably ask for all these things later. I should go... I should look around. You are so creepy, dude. Alright. Alright then. Is the candlestick still there? No. It's on the table. Alright, figuring. Let's continue. Alright then. More cards, please? What we got? The meager coyote. But what did you expect for only four bones? Four bones? Seems like a lot. It's a two-one. The nefarious rattler. A brittle creature once passed its monstrous fangs. Having six... That's like... You have to have six... You have to have six creatures die in battle before you can finally play the Rattler. That's a lot, because I'll be in your hand, being a dead card in your hand for quite a while. 3-1. The Unkillable Cockroach. It returns to your hand after dying. Okay, so... It keeps going back to your hand, but... Like, I mean, I guess to be fair, your hand does get to a point where, um... After, like, you don't... You, your hand doesn't get, like, too full. I think you want low bone cost, and I guess being able to recycle it's not terrible. It's only 1-1, one, one, though. 
I don't, we'll try the cockroach. You know, it's kind of gross. You know, you're free to get up again. To keep your blood flowing. Why would you want me to get up again? I'm no tyrant. You may stand whenever the map is unrolled. It allows me time to plan your next encounter. But do keep your hands off my possessions. Interesting. Okay. That's the book. There, all the stuff's locked down. Doesn't want me touching it. Oh, I can. Oh, I can mess with the time. Did you like that? Did you like mess with your time? It's gotta be some. It's gotta be something to that, huh? Some like secret the time. These cards here. Safe. Uh, bet you can figure out a safe number and open it, huh? Interesting. Three-digit safe is not safe enough. Keep your hands off my possessions. Proceeds to touch all his possessions. Hello, freaky face. Oh, I can, like... I can snuff out the flames. What does this do? Oh, the smoke is going up into this thing. Does that... affect this somehow? The smoke went up into that, and it's connected to this. Interesting. It's like a... Deck building, Slate Spire style game, but also combined with like a little uh, puzzle escape room game. Very cool. Neat. I'm trying to play this game and escape at the same time. Give me some items, huh? Its bleeding yields three blood if you can ignore the bleeding. Interesting. So, bleeding as in like you kill it, it gives you extra blood? You gotta sacrifice one to get it. Seems good. A gust from this may lift your creatures into the air, if only for a turn. Well, that's kind of neat. Gives your guys flying for one turn. A rock may get you out of a hard place. Aha. Uh -huh. Cool. Choose one. I only get one? Bummer. We've seen boulders. Oh, do I already have some? Uh, fans can eat. Let's get the black goat. Feeling overburdened enough with a full three items, you carried on. Didn't realize I already had two. Wasn't paying attention. Guess I didn't need them. I feel like I should be able to like throw some way to get new ones, right? <laughs> Are you smart or something? He usually doesn't even bother teaching about bones. All right, here's a tip. I saw a past victim writing a passcode in the rule book. There's a passcode in the rule book. Interesting. So can I like look at it? Passcode in the rule book. So see, so two seven three. Two seven three. Two seven three. Okay, C two seven three. Okay, but where I use that passcode? Also, I probably won't remember it. Got a boulder. What's he got coming in? A wolf cub. All right, put the squirrel down. We'll use the stoat to bring him in. Okay. Did not like that positioning. Um. Oh, I see the hand. Oh. He grows impatient, does he? Alpha, huh? Alright, first of all, I want to look at this. What's this? It's a 1-2 leader. Creatures adjacent to a card bearing the sigil gain one power. Nasty. Alright. Another squirrel. Squirrel will go... I don't know, here, whatever. I'm not sure it matters. I'm just going to kill it. Ah, uh, I guess we need... Sorry, stoat. I feel bad having to constantly kill the stoat, but I need it. I need... I need him. Oh, come on, he says. I'm sorry, but, like, I can't let this guy... I have to. You're one of the very few one-cost things I have to sacrifice. Here we go. The alpha coming in again. Alright. Um... I'm gonna need something to sacrifice, so we need the squirrel first. Whatever it draws, it's probably gonna be a two-cost. Squirrel... I could block it. Nah, I'd rather sacrifice it to be able to play down something. I'm dealing more damage than he is. Here we go. Um... Well... Draw this. Opossum two bones. Um, won't be able to kill it, huh? Just put it down. It'll stop a damage, I guess, and deal one damage to it. Let me end turn. There we go. And the wolf will probably win it for us next turn. Let's just draw this. Why not? Bullfrog. Give her this. That bullfrog there. Take that thing out. End turn. Oh, I should try to calculate overkill. All right, so, so we're catching. We're collecting tooths. Those twos. Trapper wants them. He keeps them in the bowl, I think. Porcupine. Ooh, CG plays. Interesting face. 
a nascent raven. I, I do not know what nascent means. It is no less conniving in its incubation. Nascent is like maybe baby or developing. It's a zero two, um, it, and then it'll like it'll probably grow into a proper one. I kind of want to have uh, four two with porcupines. It cost. I need more one cost things though. Get the raven egg. I don't have enough one cost items. Hmm. I can upgrade the power of something. Or this uh, lets me infuse one ability into another. Um, let's upgrade the power of something. Uh, yes. Starving survivor stood around a dying campfire. Room for a creature around the fire. What's that? Ooh, plus two health. It varies. The warmth will enhance its health, said another. That's actually pretty good. One of the survivors said nothing at all, but could not stop licking their lips. Oh, I bet there's a risk. I bet sometimes you'll be able to sneak away with your card. Other times it'll, like, get killed. I bet it's, like, a, a gamble. No way. Alright, I won't I won't risk the stoat. He seems too important. Um, cockroach. Uh, make the bullfrog a 1-4? I think this, the wolf a 3-4 seems pretty strong, actually. Hopefully they don't, like, eat him. 3-4. The health of the wolf was enhanced by the warmth. As well as far as began pulling a knife from their pocket, you withdrew. Alright, we made it out. I'm not sure if you get out every time, or sometimes you might actually lose the creature. Let's go attack. That wolf being a 3-4 is pretty good. <laughs> Ever look in the rule book? There's definitely passcode scrawled in there. They were looking up the bullfrog's sigil. Yeah, yeah, I saw that. C273. Can I, like, get it from the table right now? It won't let me. I gotta do it, like, when the map's up. So It wants us to check the passcode and something. Maybe the safe once we, uh, finish the battle and go to the map. We'll do that after this. Bull wolf Cub, Grand Fur. Alright. Boulder will block you for a while. We need to put down the squirrel, obviously. Doesn't matter where. It's just gonna... Uh, Raven Egg, actually. Raven Egg. Take you out. Put you here, and then we will end turn. Oh, the alpha's there, huh? Now uh, the two, three will fly over the grand fur. Wait, the grand fur does block it, but oh, I guess that was a mistake, wasn't it? Whatever, it'll be fine. All right, squirrel, we'll put you here, and I will sacrifice you to place the stoat here. Total misplay. Why would you say that? Did you want me to put you in front of the alpha? Oh, you're right, because the alpha. Yeah, I, I would have won that fight against the alpha. Rip. You're right, that was a misplay. Alright, fine then. Oh well. We'll live. Yeah, the alpha's gonna be a problem. Oh, the grand fur- Oh my goodness, the grand fur attacks now! <laughs> that's- that's kind of- Attack of the tree. Alright, fine. Alright, we'll put, uh, you here. Alright, sorry. Wait, what's he- come here. Another wolf cub. Sorry, stoats. I hate having to constantly sacrifice you, but, well, here we are. Oh, come on, he says. Sorry, man. Man's gotta do what a man's gotta do. Get these tough guys out of here. Did I mention to neglect? Did I, ne did I neglect to mention overkill damage? Oh, that's sick. So if I. Oh, so I did one damage to that. And then the overkill went to this back line and killed that. Nice. Excess damage is not wasted. It carries over to the card behind the mangled corpse of the victim. Good to know. Lucky for you. Indeed. It's good to know. Oof. He's actually about to win if I'm not careful here. I'll have to. Put a squirrel here to block that damage. And end turn. But he takes five damage, and so now we're in a much better situation. Actually, he stopped playing cards, which is good for us. Right, let's get another one. Let's keep blocking that. Get some big overkill damage here, I think. A lot of tooths. Yeah, nice. Okay. I can get the card. Or I can get whatever this is. It's like blood on the cards. I want to check that out. What is that? You must make a different kind of choice now. Choose not a specific beast, but decide the cost that you wish to wish to pay. Pay? Interesting. One, two, bone. Let's go for one blood. Ah, a random card of the cost of one. Gotcha. Nice. Okay, I'll take that. I need more one card. What were you expecting? Honestly, that kind of was what I was expecting. I guess you could be expecting to, like, pay your own blood. Um, I can infuse one thing's ability into another, which is not bad. 
or gets items. I'm actually, I still have all three of my items, so let's go this way. Don't need items. Alright, uh, we put... Oh! I keep forgetting. Oh, I, got, I need to get up and uh, check the um, number 273. That's right. Um, oh, actually... Oh! Give, oh, unkillable! Giving unkillable to something else actually seems really, really good. Yeah. I mean, upgrading stuff too, but yeah. Giving unkillable to something, if we get lucky in the right thing here. I'll go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't blame you. Yeah. I can make my stoat unkillable, which means I can sacrifice it again and again and again. That seems... Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that seems, that seems great. Yeah? Alright. Now he's unkillable. Watch the stoat be the bad guy. Alright, um... Now this... We can't actually make that diagonal. We have to go this way. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Before we forget. Before we forget. 273. Two, seven, three. There it is. Uh, oh, it's a new card. Stinkbug, one, two. Oh, hello. Oh, another living one. I wasn't sure if I would ever escape that iron crypt. Is p is the stoat around? The stunted wolf? This madness must end. So there's another... So put that away. So one, he started to call the stoat uh, P something. So the stoat's name starts with P. I'm not sure why he wouldn't say his actual name. And there's something about like a wolf. So there's the stoat that talks, this thing talks, and there's gonna be a wolf that talks. It's a one, two, stinky. Put that away. No, I won't. You can't make me. And I'll take that key too. No, nope, take that key. And then uh walk away from that. What's the key for? I'm surprised he's letting me just do this. Uh, it's over here. Maybe he's, like, maybe I'm bigger and stronger than him? No. Why does he let me do this? He could just get up and stop me, right? What is all this? Oh my, I need zero out of five. Oh, is this like the, the teeth? Oh! Wait, what? I pressed one. Oh, I'm trying to get zero out of five. I click this. And it's, so I'm trying to move these around. No? What is, what is this? Oh, I can move them around. So I press that. And now zero. So that was in the proper spot before. Gotta get that back to where it was. So this is the proper spot here, for whatever reason, so we had one there. Uh, you... Nope, that's not the spot either. Okay, so now that is in the correct spot too there, so... Uh, can't move you yet, for whatever reason. Move that. That's not it. Hmm, so these two are in the proper spots. Uh... Okay, now why can I move that now when I couldn't before? Okay, now that's in the proper spot. And... There we go, five out of five. Aha! Uh -huh. Another card. Skink. I forgot that I had put that there. Very well. You may add it to your deck. And I'll deal you one every so often. It's a one-two with whatever that ability is. Okay. Neat. He's letting us do it, huh? Okay, so that one's done. Although we can open up again if we want. No point in doing so, it's already empty. Then this one. Okay. A little more complicated here, I see. Um, nothing's in the right spot yet. Still zero out of five. Must be down here, right? Okay, one out of five. That's in the correct spot. I don't know what this three two is all about. This doesn't go there either. Okay, won't let us move it there yet. Got something else. One, two, two, one. Move that down. That's not it. Can't move that yet. Can we move you down all the way yet? Okay, now we'll let me move it all the way down. I don't fully understand how this puzzle is working. I'm just doing a little bit of trial and error. Okay. Um, move this. Nope. I don't really understand what I'm doing here. Sometimes when I click it, it lets me move it. Sometimes it doesn't. Alright, we got it. Just kind of trial and error. Worker ant queen. Formidable creatures, those ants. Very well. I'll add them to your deck and make them available for future uh, challengers. Neat. So we're unlocking cards for future. So it's a worker ant and a queen. Okay, so one cost, two cost. Two health, three health. Uh, I don't know what that is. Didn't get to see their attack on the queen. Alright, so I guess we solved this. There's another key there, so... Uh, once we unlock another... Once we find another key, we use the key there and probably un unlock more cards that way. Interesting. What a neat way to unlock new cards. Very cool. What a cool way to unlock new cards. I'm guessing that's probably it and we go back to work now. And we go fight this. 
Aha, this thing again. So he's got flying added to his canines or something? You again. Indeed. Our friend freed me. Well, I basically told them how to do it. You got a plan? We have another friend here. You've got to be... I wouldn't call him a friend. But I suppose we are in deep this time. Interesting. Alright, so... Um, grand fur. So he's... Oh, no, he's adding, like, the ability to move to him. Sprinter. At the end of, at the end of an owner's turn, a card bearing sigil will move in the direction and scribe the sigil. So they'll move. All right. So you got moving around. One, two, one, two sparrows flying. Move around. So, so they'll attack over my units. Can't play the possum yet. Stinkbub takes two bones, so... Squirrel it is. The stoat is unkillable, so he just comes right back to my hand. So if he dies, it's not the end of the world, actually. Um... If I put you down, he will... Yeah, he'll be fine. It's fine, so I guess it's like an okay play, he says. I need bones to play either of these. End turn. I deal one to him. They come in. Take the turns, fly over, not attacking him. They're moving around. Okay, um... Mm, draw a squirrel or a card? Um... Let's draw a squirrel, I guess. The squirrel... Doesn't matter, it's not gonna attack it. They all fly, it doesn't matter if I play it, they'll fly over it. And then we'll end turn. Slowly dealing some damage to these guys. Oof, we're in kind of a lot of trouble here. I'm, I'm gonna need to use some items, aren't I? Draw this. Uh, Skink. Else. What's it? Didn't even get to see what your ability does. Alright, take this thing out. And we'll, you can actually take out this sparrow. And what's your ability? Lose, it, lose tail. Loose tail. When a card bearing the sigil will be struck, a tail is created in its place, and a card bearing the sigil moves to the right. Wait, what? Oh, so... Wait, doesn't it mean it's unkillable? Or, like, so maybe it's unkillable until it gets to the right side, but, like... So, like, I'm gonna get hit. Drops the tail, moves to the right. So, basically, put it as far to the left as you can, and it'll keep moving to the right. Okay. Once it gets pinned to the right, it can die. I can put a possum or stink bug down. Let's put the stink bug down. Or should we look at our things here? Because they're they're gonna like win this turn with these flying guys. I can pull a tooth, which seems like honestly a pretty good call since we're about to lose. Ouch. That is oof. Man. Alright, we can get a squirrel. But they need one right now. Black goat. I don't really need the blood. I neither of these actually stopped that damage. I think we might have just lost. I mean, no, I mean, we pulled we pulled one tooth out, and this the stoat will do one damage. I don't think either of these are going to help me right now, so I don't need... These give blood. I don't need blood right now. We need bones. Oh, wait. I can put the stink bug down. One, two. Put you down here. Let's take a look at you. Back in the game. Stinky. The creature opposing a card bearing the sigil loses one power. Oh, that's really good, actually. That's really good. I just saved our little... Saved our bacon. Oh, and the skink killed that one. Yeah, all right, we're back in it. I don't think I even needed to pull the tooth. I didn't, actually. Pulling the tooth is a waste. Oh, well. Oh, well. Um... Alright, so he lost his power. Ooh, the skunk. Okay. And, uh... So these guys just can't... These two just stay there and cancel each other out. That's fine. Um... He's gonna fly and do one damage to me, but then the skink will take him back. And So we're kind of balanced out right now. Uh, let's draw card here. Ant Queen takes two blood. Oh, I could s I wish I could, like, see its damage. Alright, let's, uh... Let's take out the... No, no, let's just... Let's just wait for now. We're in a decent little bit of a draw here. Actually, we're kind of winning by one. Back, I mean, so we're, Yeah, we're kind of at a draw. Um, let's draw another card here. I see the way this is going. I concede. Interesting! You may accept my surrender. Or you may finish this match the slow way. If I finish the match the slow way, there's a chance of, um, getting extra teeth. But I'm curious to see what happens when we, like, accept the surrender. So he can tell when he's lost, basically. Okay. We do this. So... We just took- we just, like, took a knife out of his hand, or... I was expecting some kind of animation or something. Alright, well, we just shook his hand, or took the knife out of his hand or something, but, uh... Alright. Okay. That's that. Oh, here's the trapper, right? You were st I guess I should have tried to get more teeth by winning for real. You were stopped along the way by a trapper looking to liquidate his pelts. 
There is something uncanny about his appearance, but you're quickly distracted by his wares. Interesting. Oh, it's so cool how he just like puts on different masks and you're talking to different people. This, wow. Kudos to the game dev. Well done. Care to look at me pelts? Uh, take a pelt. Free of charge. See the quality? Alright. Rabbit pelt. One. Two, four, seven. Oh, this is the, is the cost of the, the of the teeth. I have one, two, three, four, five. I have seven teeth, so I can get one rabbit pelt for two. I can get a wolf pelt for four. I can get a golden pelt for seven. Oh, oh, these are uh, these are cards, and they have health. Um, so one health, two health, three health. Well, let's get the golden pelt. It's got three health. I'm not sure what it takes to like play it, but three health. I'll take that. And that's kind of all I can afford. You, you're leaving already? Please, consider me pelts. I already bought them all. I, I need a, You'll need more teeth for that one. I, I don't have... Oh, I have to click them to put them into my deck. Gotcha. The thanks for your business. The man assured you of the value of the pelts. They appear to be useless in a fight. Oh, really? But he mentioned that the trader further down the path would reward you for them. Gotcha. Okay. Interesting. I can't see the icon over there. Can I, like, rotate this map? Alright, that's an item thing. We need one more item. I I guess we're going to do this because I can't see what it is. I want to know what it is. Ah, this. Okay. So, what are we going to sacrifice? The choice is yours. I'd rather not sacrifice the ones that talk and give stories. So we're not going to sacrifice you guys. Um... We can upgrade units. I think, those guys, I think these guys are fine on their own. Um, the Ant Queen. I don't know what this ant ability is. Ant Spawner. When a card bearing the sigil is played, an ant is created in your hand. Interesting. Hmm. But it's a two cost with three health. I could give that ant sigil to something else. That cost maybe only one, right? Get rid of the two costs ones and try to have more one cost ones. Because, like, you don't really... It's like, it's all oh, oh, your attack is all the ants attack or something like that. So I'm, I'm, I'm going to try it. For curious... Oh, science. Marvelous. So this guy likes the idea of having that upgrade. Probably don't want it on the pelts, I'd imagine. Worker ant. I could give it to the worker ant. and I mean, that makes sense thematically have the... I mean, kind of. Alright, so, so and then the worker ants... Well, now, summon ants... It only costs one to play. It only has two health, though, but... Keep those expensive cards on my deck. And strengthen the weaker cards. Why did I just lose a life? My boss battles are high-stakes tests of your aptitude. With one flame, you'll either overcome them or die. Interesting. Fear not. I'll let you keep the smoke. I'd rather have the flame. The smoke. Ooh. Zero, one... The incessant clank, clank, clanking reverberated between your ears. So basically, once you get to the boss battle, it's a win-all-take-all -all situation. Reverberated between your ears. The path ahead was blocked by a grotesque figure. Oh. Towards the prospector. Hee-haw. <laughs> I love this. What a fantastic game. The smoke is a zero-one. Do I, can I just play it for free? I guess, oh, that's, oh, and we have five cards, so yeah, it's just freebie. Why do, why did we draw, why did we draw the golden pelt if we can't play it? Weird. Um, what we got coming in? We got a 0-5 pack mule, which we kill gives us cards, and a 2-1 coyote. Squirrel. Um, I can sacrifice the squirrel for a wolf cub. Do some damage right away. And... I guess it was end turn. Can I, can I like try to play the golden pelt? For science, uh, but what if it, what if I can play it and it gets killed and I can't trade it to the trader? I want to know what the trader gives us, so we'll keep it in our hand and not risk having it like get killed on the board. Okay, two coming in. The mule's stuck. All right, we got here, um, mole, burrower. When an empty space would be struck, a card bearing this sigil will move to that space to receive the strike instead. Oh, gotcha. So basically, it's a, it's like a mobile tank, so... Once it's on the board, it'll be tanking. It'll be tanking all the damage. Um, 
We need more... We need more blood on the board. We are fighting a boss battle, so using the cards probably would be good. So let's... Put the squirrel down. We'll use this squirrel. Put you down. We should try the black goat too to see what it does. Use the wolf to slay these. And put this big strong wolf there. I'll take out that coyote. There we go. Here's what the smoke does, but we'll, we'll wait. Here, I'll take those out of there. Oh, we're wrecking them, jeez. That'll block some damage. Alright, so let's get a actual card here. He's doing the prospector again. Easy boss. The mule's key. Yeah, killing the key, mule to get the cards is key. I'm just gonna try the black goat. Put it down. Takes one to sacrifice. Oh, I didn't realize you had to sacrifice to get it, huh? I wanna see what it is. It's zero, one, of three blood. Alright, well, I can't... I mean, I could sacrifice the wolf to see it. We'll wait. Wait, no, are, are we gonna win this turn? No, the mole will block the damage. Yep. Okay, there comes the wolf. Now I need a squirrel. I'm gonna put the squirrel down here. The music, huh? Alright, we're gonna use the black goat to sacrifice the squirrel. We're gonna put it down. Oh, I guess when I... S Worthy sacrifice. A card bearing the sigils counted as three blood rather than one blood and sacrifice. Gotcha. So, basically I just wanted to know what it did and, well, now we know. So if I sacrifice, it'll give me three blood, but I don't need three blood just now, so we'll wait. You're out of space. There's no room for that card. I also, also want to see what that does. And take that out. Some more damage to you. Oh, I guess we won't find... Oh, he takes... Oh, he takes two. I hope you didn't think it would be that easy. Ah, now we know. Oh, we gotta beat him twice. There's gold in them cards. Oh, no way! Are you serious? He's giving me, like, bones for... Oh my goodness. G -g gold I struck gold. Interesting. It is a boss battle. Alright, so... They have two health, so we just got rid of all my cards and turned them to gold nuggets. Bloodhound. Guardian. When an opposing creature is placed opposite to an op empty space, a card bearing the sigil will move to that empty space. Wait, how's that different from the other... the mole? When opposing creatures place opposite, so oh, it's when I place. So the other card is when it attacks. This is when I place it. So as soon as I put it down, it'll move. Um, so let's get a. I guess the. I wonder if we can sacrifice the gold nuggets, golden pelts, smoke. Uh, let's try one of these. Rapid pelts. Ah, oh, man, these pelts are like, they're like, holding up my hand here. All right, we need. Uh, can I sacrifice? I can't sacrifice the gold nuggets. There's no for that card to be played. I just have to wait for him to, like, destroy the gold nuggets, huh? That's tough. That, I guess I had too many cards on the board. Get him! Alright. Now I got rid of that. Um, we need... more, like, good cards. Bullfrog. Okay, so... I guess I should've gotten a scroll, because I can't actually play. I can play the smoke. I wanna see what the smoke does. It's a 0-1... I don't know what the bones is. Bone King. When a card bearing this sigil dies, four bones are awarded instead of one. Gotcha. Although I'm not, I don't have any, too, I don't have so many cards that cost bones right now. Can I sacrifice it? Um, I mean, I could, but they'll die. I guess I can sacrifice it and put a one two in its place and deal one damage to him. It's a choice. I mean, might as well. Yeah. At least we'll, we'll at least do one damage to him, and we'll get a bunch of bones for him. Put him down. We'll still lose the, bu the bullfrog, but at least it'll, like, weaken him up. We got plenty of bones to deal with. Okay, we need, uh... Oh, uh, we need... Squirrels to sacrifice. We can just slowly... The stoat's unkillable, that's right. I forgot. I forgot this unkillable. Keep me alive! You're unkillable, my dude. You will stay alive. But yeah, keep him alive for the story. Ack. He survived that attack, too. Um... We will need squirrels to fund our future endeavors. There we go, get him out of here. Ooh, there's the adder. That'll be a problem. Um... Need maybe get something that fight. Ah, there we go, the skink. Put the squirrel down. Use the skink to take him out. Put him down. Enter and get that poison... poison guy out of here. Alright, so... Uh, draw another card. So strange. Why can't I remember his name? I believe I lost some of my memory in the flash. What's the flash? Need two bones to play you, but I have no room to do so. There we go. Messed him up. Wolf Cub, take out the golden nuggets. 
All right, so um, and just run another card, I guess. Raven Egg. I think we're fine as is. They'll do their thing. The wolf has matured. Worrisome. Well, draw the squirrel. Put it there. How much? Know where to put it? It's Raven Egg. Now we'll just uh, end turn and. Let's wait. There we go. Give us some cards. Is there a card limit to our hand? Dag nabbit. What's happy about us taking out his uh, meal? And we beat him. Very cool boss battle. Memory card is full. What's a strange feeling? Memory card is full. That's an old reference. Cam works. What? The game trailer. What's this? Oh, there's so much. Wow, look at all these other things. Oh, he's even got like some real life. Wow, this dev is. This, this has been a pursuit of passion for this dev for a long time, I think. He's even got like in real life stuff. Oh my. So cool. Oh, I didn't realize there's things that. And like. The scale on the top told you how many. Ticks were left to win. Memento. October 19th. The game releases October 19th. Goodbye. What an incredible game. Coming October 19th on PC. Incredible. Just incredible. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked that, please subscribe and check out some of my other stuff. Oh, it's not done. Oh, it's done.